Hi everyone, today we're going to do a demonstration of the MS-8 seal gauge with Pulse Plus protection. I'm Nate, the marketing manager for RioTemp. This is Brian, the pressure product manager. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is describe the demo unit that we have here today and also the two different gauges. Brian, could you tell us a little bit? Sure. Well, what you see here is on the right, you have a, a standard process gauge, which is common in the heavy industrial market, with a with a water snubber on it, which helps dampen pulsation. On the left here, you have the Rio Temp MS8 all welded diaphragm seal gauge, which has your standard process gauge attached to a diaphragm seal, whose main role is to isolate the gauge from media that is either hot, corrosive, or clogging. Uh, but one of the most common issues that occurs as far as uh, safety and gauge lifespan is that of pulsation in the, in the process market. So what we've done is we've rigged together a jig here that is going to simulate a similar type of pulsation that could occur in an industrial market from a water hammer or a pump or something similar in which you're seeing a, a sudden spike in pressure and then a release back down to a normal pressure and then a sudden spike again, sometimes up in the 100, 200 to 1,000 cycles per minute. In, in this jig, we have a full, uh, fully enclosed water line, so we're just using a, a simple water. We're going to run a, a sawtooth wave type of pulsation at about two to 300 cycles per minute uh, in order to simulate what the effect of these uh, on these gauges is of the pulsation. Great. Thanks, Brian. Uh, now we'll go ahead and turn on this unit and you'll be able to see the effects of the pulsation uh, for real. So what you're seeing here is the unit on the right, which is a standard process gauge with a water snubber. Now the snubbers are commonly used in the industry in order to slow down the process before it gets inside of the gauge. But as you see here, a water snubber is just not capable or it doesn't do a good enough job in slowing down the, pr the process medium before it gets into the gauge. On the left here, what we've done inside of this, this is not just a plain diaphragm seal. We've actually embedded a proprietary mechanism inside of the gauge above the diaphragm uh, in order to, to fully slow the process to the point where it's not damaging the gauge. Now what you saw on the outside here was the final effects of pulsation and that being the pointer fluttering significantly, significantly and you saw that more so on, in the gauge on the right. If we actually turn the, the unit around and you see what the internals of a pressure gauge look like, they're stainless steel and as stainless steel moves against one another, uh, it, it tends to chafe and that's where you see gauges that could potentially leak. Uh, or actually uh, damage to the point where they're, they're not usable. We're going to turn this jig on again so you can see how this, this unit, this, this MS-8 with the Pulse Plus unit actually slows the pulsation down before it hits any of the internals of the gauge. As you can see with this unit you're looking at now, the sawtooth gear grinds up against that pinion at just about the exact same rate that you're seeing the, the water hammer or the pump that we're trying to simulate is generating that energy all the way into the metal components of the gauge. Whereas over here on the left, you have the, the Pulse Plus unit dampens the pulsation to the point where we're going to turn this on again and you won't see that sawtooth gear move hardly at all. So that's just that's an example of for for two purposes. One is uh, for obviously the safety of of those around the unit and of the unit itself, uh, but also to extend the life of the process gauge and the snubber to the to that degree uh, in dampening pulsation. Great. Thanks everybody. Uh, that concludes our demonstration of the MS8 seal gauge with Pulse Plus protection. Thanks.